one of the things I, I thought was, uh, I'm thrilled to be able to ask you about, I thought in your, in your long and wonderful career, one of the things that struck me were the number of just great actors that you worked with. Uh, one right after the other. You mentioned Vera Cruz, that's Lancaster and Cooper. Not to mention, you know, From Here to Eternity and Bad Day at Black Rock. And we can go on and on and then later in The Wild Bunch. And uh, I just wanted to mention some of the names of that work because you were, you were there in so many of these extra dirty does, a lot of stuff, extraordinary people, as you say, to watch, to work with, to learn from, who I'm sure would say the same of you and just off the top of your head. For instance, uh, when... when uh, when I had to go down one day to read for Petty Chayefsky and Delbert Mann. Right. They wanted me to read for them. And uh, Spencer Tracy saw me going off and he said, hey, hey, wait a minute. He said, I'm the star here. Where were you going? I said, well, sir, I said, I have to go down and read. Read? You don't read anymore. He says, you're a star. I said, out of your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> <laughs> and he, he wanted to know what I was going to read. And I told him, I said, a thing called Marty and everything else. He wanted to know about it. And he said, ah, don't worry about it. Piece of cake. You'll do it. You'll do it fine. Don't worry about it. Yes, sir. Next morning I came. I had a great big grin on my face. Of course, the other, the other story is in itself, but... I had a great big grin on my face, and he said, got it, huh? I said, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, the next great. year, I beat him out for an Academy Award. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's great, for that movie, that's right. That was terrible. <laughs> I wanted your take on something else. I, I had the occasion to have a, a very nice conversation with the Robert Ryan, and then another one, the first one when he came back to do Long Day's Journey, and later when he did Front Page in New York. I liked him very much. But at one point, kind of wide-eyed, I said, and you got to do all those westerns. That must have been so great. And he said, westerns. I hate doing westerns. <laughs> he said, you're on the horse and it's hot and you're sweating and dirty. You don't get to say a damn thing. And you go back to some crummy motel. He actually was being funny about it. But I thought of you because you were in so many yourself. You know, I don't know if, was, I, if he was I, teasing I, me I, or what. I, I love westerns. Love I really it? do. I wish to goodness that some producer would come out now and start westerns again because believe me the kids are missing out on a heck of a good deal uh, I know they have a, a, a station that puts out nothing but uh, Wild West and all that sort of stuff you know Western pictures but believe me to see today's uh, people on a horse makes all the difference in the world yeah. Uh, you, you get to see how, how really, how manly a man can be uh, on a horse. And believe me, um, it's not the easiest thing in the world. But it's fun, it really is. And, and uh, I've had more, more fun doing westerns than anything else. And, and it was just amazing because I guess when I was a kid, uh, we used to go you know, for the nickel and a piece of and a, and a, and a piece of paper that big, and it lets you in for a nickel. You know, and uh, you'd go in and, and you'd have a penny's worth of candy, right, right. <laughs> and you'd go in and watch these westerns, and you're just in, in enticed. You know, Buck Jones and and uh, all of them, uh, Gene Autry, all of them were just marvelous, and uh, to think that I later was doing the same thing. This was amazing, and uh, I, I still get a big charge out of Westerns, and uh, I think they're missing out on a bet by not doing them anymore, really.